Kurt Bielfus leads a very active lifestyle. He's been a firefighter and a paramedic for 19 years. In addition, he loves to play with his two younger children and participate in sports with his older son. You know, we both water ski and wakeboard and snow ski and uh, we ride four-wheelers and I play softball and basketball and soccer and um, I try to stay active as much as I can. But this summer, something as simple as picking up his three-year-old daughter was in jeopardy. Kurt was wakeboarding, jumped awake, and came down on his neck. I kind of felt something in my neck. It almost felt like a, a lightning bolt hit me in the middle of my back. And then I had some tingling uh, go down both arms and out both hands. He immediately went to the emergency room. His initial x-rays looked fine, but he was referred to Dr. Christopher Sleva at Rockford Spine Center for further examination. He thought it would be a quick visit. I've had stingers before and I've had, you know, back injuries and, and you know, pinched nerves and stuff like that before. So I, you know, just kind of thought it was one of those things, you know, you land wrong, you have a little stinger and, you know, you're fine. Dr. Sleva says this thought process is common and many times may cause a delay in diagnosis. Many times people just attribute these symptoms to, to getting older when in fact there is a, there's a problem. In Kurt's case, a serious problem was lurking below the surface. Dr. Sleva took a more detailed look at Kurt's scans and found two disc bulges putting pressure on the spinal cord. However, Dr. Sleva was also concerned with a condition that Kurt had in his neck called congenital cervical stenosis. There's a, a tube where the, where the spinal cord traverses down the neck. Okay. That's called the spinal canal. And that, that dimension was diminished in Kurt just because that's the way he was born. Then you add a few small disc bulges, which he had, and then this trauma where th with this violent jolting of his neck which brought all these symptoms to light. He said any minor neck injury, you know, you could be paralyzed. That certainly was a wake-up call for Kurt. He immediately stopped working and began discussing treatment options. He uh, was very reliant upon his arms and legs and the strength in his, in his body to do not only his job, but also to do the fun things that he enjoys about life. And so the decision was made to move forward with surgery to correct the problem. There's an incision in the front of the neck uh, where we go down and, under, and using a, a, a less invasive approach, uh, go in, uh, remove the discs, disc and bone spurs that are pinching the spinal cord. Uh, then we perform a fusion. Fusing the spine at two points does decrease mobility, but only slightly. Following six weeks of recovery while wearing a collar and six weeks of physical therapy, Kurt will be back to nearly 100%. Kurt says he is thankful for the outcome and now has peace of mind concerning his health and safety. I certainly didn't want to stop doing the things I love doing, you know. I didn't want to live my life in a bubble, so um, I'm glad that I did it. It's very gratifying to see somebody, you know, who before had this very potentially life-altering problem come back and you see they're well on their way.